get into our senior yearling sow division, and I think there's one for me that wins and wins pretty handily, and that's uh, exhibitor number 36. I just really like this sow's levelness of back. I think she's presented extremely well. Uh, she's got some width about her blades. I definitely think she carries that to the ground. She's opened up in terms of the center portion of her body. I think she reads extremely good in terms of her look, in terms of her underlying balance. I think a sow that just really gets out and motors off both ends of her skeleton. I think she's free. She's loose and hinged about her skeleton. Really, really nice place to start. Entry 35 is going to go second in this class. And just a really deep-bodied, broody, maternal-made maternal, maternal made kind of a sow that, uh, you know, you just got to appreciate some things about her. Um, you know, but for me, well, we need to change her. We need to change her right there at the crest of her neck. I like to lengthen her out, maybe bring her back. Uh, just a shot in her throat latch, but still, I think, a really nice individual to go ahead and go second. Third is going to be entry number 37, and I just like, uh, you can appreciate some things about this one uh, just in terms of, you know, just, just her balance, her look. I think she's good in terms of her structure. Maybe for me, she wants to turn her toes in a little bit when she comes right at you, and I think she wants to turn them out when she goes away from you. Need to stouten her up, bring her up in terms of her pastures. Uh, for her to move up any higher. Then we're going to round out the class of 34. I think a sow that just gets too round off both ends of her skeleton, study her up front in terms of her shoulder and her and right out of her hip. I think she's just a one that just gets too round off both ends for me. Uh, I think a guilt you can appreciate in terms of her teat size and, and her underlying balance, uh, just for me, just gets too plain and nondescript in terms of her back, wants to get too flat in terms of her lower stifle muscle. Really good class. My congratulations to these exhibitors. Heat two of the senior yearling division. Entry 40 is going to win this class, and I just think a deeper, full-ribbed, boulder-sprung kind of a sow that uh, she's more desirable in the turn to her top. Uh, I think, one, that she's cleaner about her blades. I think she's set wider between her blades. I think she's just a more functional, uh, just growthier kind of a sow to win this particular class. Entry 38 is going to go next, and that's the belted sow. I think one that's just sounder on her feet and legs. I think she's got more substance to bone. Uh, she, you know, she stands out wider from behind. I think she's got more cushion to her pasterns. I think where we need to fix this guilt is, uh, you know, she gets just a little straight in terms of her shoulder. I think she just uh, reaches and just gets a little bit shorter striding off both ends of her skeleton. But I still think a really, really nice sow to come next in second place. Entry 39 is going to go third. I think, uh, you know, she's a little bit more stretchier kind of a female. I think she's uh, nicer balanced. Um, you know, one that, uh, you know, you just got to appreciate her in terms of her length and her extension. I think she's level backed. Uh, probably the most level hipped gilt uh, out of the class. Uh, but for me, I think she gets just a little plainer. Um, you know, down low, gets a little bit more shorter up front, uh, maybe a little on the smaller frame side. Uh, but still, I think there's some attributes about this sow that uh, could really get you fired up when uh, when this one's set into production. We're going to round out the class with entry number 41. And, uh, you know, just kind of a, a tighter wound kind of a female. I think she's shorter rumped, maybe gets a little steeper rumped, um, a little round in terms of her muscle. But I think a deep-bodied kind of a uh, kind of a sow that, like we talk, we just need to fix her. I, I think one that's too short, too steep in terms of her rump, uh, gets a little lower in terms of her tail setting. Good class. My compliments to these exhibitors. We get out here for champion senior yearling sow. Entry 36 is going to be our champion. I just really like this one. It's just strength of pastors. She's extremely level. She's opened up about her blade width. I think she's a level hipped kind of a sow that is appropriate in terms of her condition. I think her skeleton reads right. Really long, striding kind of a female. I like this one a good deal uh, to win this drive. Entry 35 is going to be reserve and follows our, our, our champion in some ways in terms of just being maternal. Opened up about the center portion of her body. Maybe one we could fix in terms of her pastures, make her a little stouter as she hits the surface. But still, I think a really, really nice trio. And entry 40 is going to come third. And I really like this guilt. Like we talked, you know, she's just 
really deep bodied. She's level back. She's up headed. I think her neck ties high out of the top side of her shoulder. I think for me, where she goes third today, you just study her. Maybe the angulation to her hock just doesn't read good enough for me. I think she wants to play too much out of her hock when you get right in behind her. But I still think a, t- I think a trio of really, really high-quality sows. My compliments to these exhibitors.